When you're watching sports, you really do lose yourself in it. Monday Night Football, big stage, DC versus the Cowboys. I mean, I'll never forget it. Patrick Creighton catches a pass, and then this blur hits him and sends him into another zip code. The ball goes loose, and it's Sean Taylor. This one just came in today, and it's actually Sean Taylor's birthday, uh, April 1st, and I feel like I have to do a video about this. I've wanted this card for a little bit. It's numbered. That was something Lior taught me, get the numbered cards. And it's great. It's got this wonderful moment when he was in college talking about wanting to go one-on-one -on -one with one of the greatest uh, ever, Larry Fitzgerald, who's a, a friend and a hell of a great wide receiver. But back in college, Sean said, I want to cover this guy. I want to go one-on-one -on -one against him all game. The coaches gave it to him. I'm Sean Taylor, University of Miami, the hardest hit in the draft. He held Fitzgerald to season lows of three catches and 24 yards, snapping his NCAA record 18-game touchdown streak. Sorry about that, Fitz. He loved playing defense. Man, this guy, I mean, so physical. Loved being a mess. He was fast, he was big, he could hit, he could do everything. The defense really shined, and this guy, this young man, was at the heart of it. But there was a moment early into Reddit. I mean, I'll never forget it. It was when my mom got diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. And then we had a football game that night to try to distract us, you know, to be this like escape. And it was a big deal because it's, you know, DC versus the Cowboys. And I'm at a bar, a random bar in Boston where, uh, you know, building Reddit. And you know how when you're watching sports, you really do lose yourself in it. And for those three hours, I had tried my best. I couldn't fully, but I had tried my best to just set aside everything that I know was happening back home with my mom and that terminal diagnosis. And I just said, just give me, give me a few minutes of joy and satisfaction and escape. And all of a sudden, we do it. Hang it in. Going deep. And a pass is for a touchdown. He just outran him. Going deep for Morrison. And he makes the catch. Yep. We're up, we're up by a point, but I know, you know, as a DC football fan, not to get your hopes up too high, because you know you're going to get heartbroken. I'm in, I'm all in, and I am loud. And Dallas only needs to go down the field, get in field goal range in order to win. So I'm trying to contain my excitement. I've been drinking a lot at this point. Patrick Creighton catches a pass that gets Dallas in field goal range, takes a couple steps, and then this blur hits him and sends him into another zip code. Ball goes loose, and it's Sean Taylor. It's ruled an incomplete. I mean, I screamed. I flipped out. I lost my shit in that Boston bar. And he is so fired up. He is a man alive. And the Cowboys couldn't convert on the fourth down and won. And this was the saddest day of my life. And it was this moment of just pure joy. And so this, this is much more than a call. We have seen some this is all of the opportunity, all of the hope, all of the potential of this young man. And in that moment, I will never forget. I still watch replays of that tackle. Look, that's the power of sport. It's the power of the memory. It's the power of that little bit of motivation to get through and persevere. It'd be great. Oh, it still it gives me chills just even thinking about it. And uh, yeah, grateful for it. Motivates me to this day.